whole Bible is a love story. It's God's love affair with the human race. You see, God has all those billions of planets out there, all those hundreds of billions of stars, and it's all God's. But of all the planets in the whole universe, the whole universe stands in awe at the love that God showers on this little planet called the Earth. And I imagine the people who live on other planets wonder why God doesn't sweep this planet of rebellion out into oblivion. We're the only planet, insofar as I know, that are in rebellion against God, and yet in spite of our rebellion, in spite of our disobedience, in spite of our sins, God loves us. That's the thrilling thing about it. And God loves every person in the whole world with a love that is beyond our comprehension. And God proved His love by giving His Son on the cross. If you have a doubt that God loves, look at the cross, because God was in Christ reconciling the world unto Himself. That's the greatest illustration of love in the whole world, is the cross. Because God is saying from the cross, I love you, I love you, I love you. You and I were saved by the cross. Our Lord loved us so much that He gave His only Son to die on that cross. Now love is not feeling. You say, I feel I love Him. It's not feeling, love is doing. Love is a verb. God did something, God gave His love. God commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The Apostle John, looking at that cross, said, Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us. And when you look at that cross and think about it, that the Romans used the instrument of execution on a colossal scale, and they put nails in the hands and spikes in the feet and spat on the people and mutilated the bodies, broke their legs to help them die quicker, and all sorts of terrible things. The most cruel death in the whole world is the death of the cross. And our Lord was hanging there with the mocking crowd making fun of him. And he hung there for you, for you, for you. And God was saying, I love you. Jesus laid down his life for us. And that's the reason the scripture says there's no other way to heaven. You can't be saved any other way. You cannot find life with a capital L any other way. You cannot gain entrance to the kingdom of heaven without coming to the cross because if God could have found another way, He would have found it. It's God's love. It's so deep and so wide and so high and so great and has such dimensions to it that no words in any language can describe. It's a love that God has for you that in spite of the fact that you were rebelling against Him, in spite of the fact that you were a sinner, in spite of the fact that you broke His laws, He gave His Son to shed His blood. In spite of everything we've ever done, God loves. And words cannot describe it. From this moment on, I want Him to be in control of my life. I want Him to sit in the cockpit of my life and run it and direct it. I turn my life over to Him too.